I'd like to introduce a uh, multi-copter that I designed here uh, over the last six months or so in my mind, but uh, ultimately last week I had a chance to actually sit down and do something about it. So I opened Parach Technology Corporation's Creo and designed this. Um, I then subsequently printed it on a Lulzbot um, TAS 6 3D printer and installed uh, Emacs 2205 motors, uh, the lovely mini um, 20 amp ESCs from DYS and uh, CC3D flight controller, which was, which was the first time I used that flight controller as well. Um, now, the overall objective is to have an airframe which has very low frontal area in full forward flight. As you can see here, the rotors are angled forwards while the airframe is actually exposing a relatively small area. The problem with most multicopters is that you mount all the motors on a single plane and then in order to get it to fly forwards, you tip the um, frame further and further into the wind as you go faster, which makes it have more and more drag the faster you go, and also generates negative lift. In this airframe, the takeoff position is like that, and the flight controller has a ledge inside there, so the flight controller thinks it's flat. The rotors are both flat, but one is higher than the other. Uh, and then when you start flying, then you are in this position. So in this position, the rotors are forwards, but as you see, the frontal area of the device is reduced, and also, we have the motor sitting on these arms, which are little wings, which have aeroflow cross sections, so they are at a five degree angle of attack in full forward flight, and they generate lift. Uh, amusingly, if you actually slow down, as in you lean the airframe backwards, like that, to slow down, or in fact you can go even further back, like this, to slow down, these operate as wings so that you actually fly upwards quite dramatically, unless you're paying attention. So. Um, the next video shows you how we actually fly the thing and it actually takes off initially it starts off um, on its belly and then it lifts itself up onto its tail like that and then it takes off so we'll see how that goes so this is a uh, quadcopter that we've designed and made and it's designed so that in the takeoff position in hover it's at an angle like that but the flight controller is flat inside at that position. And in the forward flight position, it's actually like this. So when the, when the, the, the copter is in this position, its frontal area is much reduced. And also it has um, the arms holding the motors are profiled as aerofoils to uh, ensure that there's a significant amount of lift generated as a result of the forward motion of the copter. Uh, and then if you were to brake or to slow down, then the rear position is like this. So it generates a lot of drag at the same time. So it should brake hard as well. Anyway, we're going to try and fly it now for the first time and see whether it works. Okay, so this is the first flight of our 3D printed um, copter, which has the angled rotors. So as we take off, it should end up balancing on its tail for it before it primarily takes off. Um, so now it's on. There we go. It's on its tail and then it's take off. My copter's faster, um, like, quad... You steady? Great time. Well, it's landed softly on its tail, hopefully. Would you want me? So I want to, what I want to do is I want to bring it over here and then you can see what it's hovering. It, so it's hovering like that, and then when it goes forwards, it goes like that, and when it goes backwards, it goes like that. Very smooth looking. It's very, very difficult in the altitude lock. Okay, so we're going to both try and fly at the same time. Arm your engines, Kai. All right, ready, steady, take off. Yeah. 